Human and Evolutionary Biology is a new section in the Department of Biological Sciences. This is where we study how the basics of chemistry, physics, and biology all work together to figure out how the human body works. Through a series of courses, gain expertise through a lot of hands-on, experiential type learning in labs, and really figure out how the body uses all the different systems to perform different functions of daily life. I always tell the students that work in my undergraduate lab that what they have learned about themselves in a lab setting will be with them for the rest of their lives. They will have learned to ask questions, defend their opinions. It's a great learning tool. When learning about different muscles of the body, typically in the book you learn what are the names of muscles, where are they attached. We like to go beyond that and say, okay, if they're activated by the brain, what do they actually do? And so we like to translate what you might learn in theory and put it into practice. For example, they were able to monitor muscle activation using a telemeter system that actually has wireless transmission to a computer so that we know what the signals are from each of the 16 muscles. And this allows them to take those principles that they had an understanding in class and actually project that onto a real world problem scenario. One of the exciting things that happens in the junior and senior years are our capstone courses. We take a problem that's meaningful to the group and we talk to the end user and we involve both the engineers and the biologists in the process. When we do the capstone experience, the experience is usually related to what we considered a more applied research question. So we will have a student today performing on the treadmill and this is part of a capstone experience that some of the undergraduate students are doing. And they're testing whether a specially manufactured water drink with special chemical in it will provide the students with enhanced performance. We want the capstone experience to enrich what they have learned in each discipline. We bring together people with backgrounds in engineering and biology and really look at the problem from different viewpoints. And what's really great about the capstone courses is that there are no prerequisites. So by having students with different backgrounds look at the same problem, you end up with some real interdisciplinary approaches to helping people improve performance and reduce injury. People studying human biology can go in any kind of career that deals with human beings. And it can allow you to have multiple careers that are related to health, fitness, or any type of human movement related profession. It really allows you to solve those real world problems from your own viewpoint. And that's the real beauty of this interdisciplinary degree is that you learn the language of different disciplines and that helps a lot when you're out there in the real world.